before I touch, dude. And this is my speed run of Mountain Mayhem. Um, so I put a lot of time into this uh, speed run, um, trying to get a really good time, and I think uh, the final product uh, turned out very well. Um, this was a very good run overall, and although I had a lot of uh, little mistakes, I think um, the run uh, overall was extremely good and a very good time. Uh, so as you can see, I just grabbed the ladders um, and mineral supplies uh, at the start there, and now I'm trying to get up the top of the mountain as fast as possible. Um, there is another speedrun of this map that's done by Plat uh, Platinum. However, he... Um, kind of does things a little bit differently than me. So what I do is I kind of go for minimal supply speedrun. Um, and here's my big mistake, as you'll see, uh, one of the bigger mistakes on this map, which isn't, which wasn't really too bad. Here's another mistake. Um, I'm actually going to go for minimal supply run, which means that getting through this PVE wall with uh, little gear is going to be tough, which is why I run it first. Uh, both um, so that there's uh, not a lot of mobs in here. They don't get a, a chance to spawn but also um, so that I don't uh, have to keep redoing it if I had to do it at the end or something. Um, so it's going pretty good overall, this run. Uh, it's very hard to get this PvE wool uh, in the time I'm trying to do it with just the protection uh, piece of armor. Um, that creeper kind of helps me out there with getting me over that block. And I kind of lag out here and I don't get in the uh, wool box, which is weird, but whatever. I got the wool. Um, Decent time so far. I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, now I'm just going to head out, um, drink that speed pot so that I can one hit uh, any mobs that I see as I'm coming out. Uh, I actually get lucky with that witch right there. Uh, she threw a speed or a potion, a uh, poison potion at me right there, but I actually uh, avoided by getting hit with another mob. Um, eat right here, stack up. Uh, I also don't grab any blocks in this. Uh, speed run. So the only blocks I get are in the wool chest, which uh, is actually plenty because um, the map maker is very generous in giving you uh, 54 wool in each wool chest. Um, I like this right here. I just barely avoid that zombie as I'm pulling out uh, of this dungeon. So now I'm out of the dun Well, no, there's a zombie right here that gets me. Um, that kind of threw me for a surprise. So I get out of this wool dungeon. I kind of had a lag spike right there. Um, and I'm doing really well. Uh, like I said, uh, pretty happy with this time so far. Uh, and I'm just pouring out. Uh, fine. Now I'm going to go run uh, parkour. Uh, this is kind of the last hard part of this uh, speed run. The really hard part is obviously the PvE. And then once I get past that, as long as I don't screw up on the uh, parkour, I'll be just fine. So I also miss grabbing that speed potion right there. That slows me down just a little bit. And then I, my sprint kind of craps out there. I don't know exactly what happened. Um, but only just, just little mistakes, nothing, uh, that's gonna hurt my time too much. So coming down here, uh, ice jumps are looking great. Uh, this is one of my better, uh, runs of this parkour wool, and a few, uh, good runs of that, of this, uh, map I've had. I throw the wool right there, that also slows me down just a little bit. Um, but now I'm coming back out, doing just fine. So now, uh, as soon as I get out of here, I'm pretty confident with that I'll be able to complete this run. There's not too much else that I can go wrong. I just have the PvP to run, which uh, nothing can really go wrong there. It can just uh, hurt my time a little bit more. Um, by the way, I forgot to mention, but there is no uh, game sounds for this recording. Uh, I had to use a minimal uh, recording software for this, uh, and I couldn't get game sounds in here. Now I'm going to drink my speed potion. Uh, you can also see the timer uh, up there in the uh, upper right-hand corner. Uh, very small, but uh, that's my time so far. And that's not necessarily official. I kind of started it uh, a little late, as you'll see in the final time. But uh, it's, a, it's a rough estimation. Um, coming up the mountain uh, with that speed pot, it's pretty quick. Um, I'm also using these blocks when I need to. And now I'm entering the PvP. I uh, kind of screw up on those ladders there just for a sec. Uh, and I'll drop down right here. I do have to watch my uh, health right here because I take all this fall damage. The protect the pr protection for chest speed actually uh, ends up helping me a lot here with this fall damage. 
I get pretty low right there. But I'm going to continue on and get over here. I'm going to pillar up just because I found it to be a little bit quicker there. Eat. Um, I'm actually really low on food at this point. 1.7 food is just crazy, uh, especially in speed runs. You have to eat so much. I've gone through 10 pieces of bread. Well, I will uh, after this run is over. Uh, I scraped just a little bit here. I got caught on that block. Uh, don't waste much time at all, though. Like I said, just a lot of little mistakes in this run. Uh, nothing too big. Nothing that cost me a lot of time. But um, I'd say when when it's over and done with, this run can maybe, well, in its current uh, route, it could probably be improved at least five seconds. But uh, that's really minimal. Um, I'd say it's a very good time. I also screw up right there. Again, another little mistake. And I use my last piece of red wool coming out with this stack of yellow. And I'm going to get over there. Get caught on the block again. Oh my god. And I missed my block placement right there. That's fine. Eat my last piece of bread so I can regen just a little bit. I probably didn't even need that piece um, in hindsight, but whatever. Coming down the trees. Uh, this is this ended up being a really fast uh, way to get back to the monument. I haven't I had never taken that kind of route before. And pillowing up, I almost screw up right here and I'll go over the block. That would that would have annoyed me so much. But so now um, we just got to do this final pillar up to the monument. Um, I'm looking at all I can do right now is look at the clock and be like, oh man, am I gonna make it? I really, really wanted to get sub seven on this speed run. Um, and it looks like I might just barely, it's gonna be really close though. Pull up exactly where I need to and get my wool placed as fast as I can. And my clock right there uh, says 658 um, when I finished. And it turns out from the pasted email, which I'll put in the description, uh, the run was 659, just barely sub 7, which is great. My uh, other record for this run was 7. Uh, oh, 06. So that was really, really nice. That was exactly what I was going for. <laughs> anyway, guys, um, I'll be uploading a lot more speedruns in the future. Uh, this is the first one I've managed to record, but I've been doing race wolf speedruns for a while, and I'll start to record mine uh, for a long time. So I'll see you guys later. Thanks.